As we close in on the end of March of the Mammals, I thought it might be fun to talk briefly about Homo Therium and how these strange and fascinating big cats are doing in Chimere. As I have a video sponsorship on the big cats coming up, I will address a lot of the revisions I've done in the known world since my Mammal Predators of Chimere video, but today I thought it would be fun to introduce the scimitar tooth cats that are now pretty widespread in the known world. I will put them into their full context in the Big Cat episode, which will hopefully be ready next month. The root of this revision and the addition of Homotherium to the known world comes down to the most widespread terrestrial habitat, the Titan Gardens. Thanks to the constant movement, uprooting, and digging claws of the Titanosaurs, these conifer rainforests are much more open to rain than we typically think of when jungles come to mind. Since Titan forests are quite open and often lacking in substantial thicket, big cats that rely on ambush hunting aren't going to find the degree of success that they have on Earth. The trend of mammals not being the dominant predators that I discussed in the Mammal Predator video still holds true. Theropods are unquestionably the top predators in almost every terrestrial ecosystem. More on that in a moment. Their superior endurance and more efficient metabolisms are especially superior in the more open terrain that dominates Chimere. Eudromaeosaurs fill the niches that many mammal predators here on Earth occupy, and Megaraptorans are the top dogs. Mammal predators like the apex big cats, such as Smilodon and Lion, either went extinct or had to adapt to metazo-predatory niches. Simply put, there's nothing a group of lions can do to defend a kill from a predator 20 to 30 times their size. In this context, Homotherium was a bit of a breakout star. On Earth, they were social pursuit predators. There's good evidence that they did just fine as subordinate predators, running prey to exhaustion, dogpiling them, and using their serrated fangs not only for quick prey dispatch before the top predators could come steal their kills, but also to dismember the prey so they could retreat with the meal to a safe location. This all translated very well to success in Chimere in a way that most large cats could not. In Chimere, there are two separate lineages of Homotherium that came from different harvests. The most successful is Homotherium latidens harvested from the Middle Pleistocene Asia. Although more of a warm prairie adapted predator, they quickly adapted to a range of open habitats. Those that took to the prairies had brief success before being outcompeted by the striped hyenas that came from Chimere's eastern continent around a million years ago. Where Homotherium found the most success was the Titan Gardens. Although Homotherium has reduced and only semi-retractable claws, they are proficient enough climbers that they can cache kills and trees. Social hunting was selected against due to the sheer number of competitors, although groups of related animals will still live together, and social hunts of large game can still happen from time to time especially if there are near caves or trees where they can reliably cache out of the range of dromies and young Megaraptorans. As on the prairie, those in the forest do face competition from the common hyena, although climbing instead of burrowing enables sufficient distance in caching practices that they can hold their own. Although the closest living relative of Homotherium is Dinophilus, or the Red Panther, most regional names for Homotherium link them to the four lynx species found throughout the known world. A second harvest of Homotherium took place around 800,000 years ago in Northern Europe. Some integrated into the existing Homotherium populations, but a group almost exclusively from this stock took to the highlands of the western continent. The steppes of this habitat are much colder than hyenas and most dinosaurs prefer, courtesy of the northbound currents that originate in Kaishel, and the grass-dominated habitat does not appeal to dinosaurian herbivores, and cannot support the size and diversity of megafauna found in most parts of the known world. 
The largest herbivore is a moderately sized mammoth. It is here that homotherium enjoys a high degree of success. Cave lions still put pressure on them to kill fast and cash, but they are by a wide margin the most numerous large mammal predator in this habitat. Packs of 15 or more can be found mobbing ungulates and mammoths. As previously stated, I'll be exploring Homotherium in greater detail in the Big Cat video, which has been generously sponsored by my patron Chris. You don't have to be a patron to sponsor a video. Sponsorships are basically an opportunity for me to afford to dedicate more time into making art and recording videos that I wouldn't otherwise have time for. At the moment, it's $100 for a short episode on a single animal, and $300 for a video on a full clade or biome. Might revise prices in the future, but that roughly corresponds to my commission rates and how much time it would take to make each video. If you're interested in sponsoring a video, please reach out by email to theillustratedmenagerie at gmail.com and we can chat. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Until next time. Cheers, folks!